Okay, so I'm gonna go through this so you can. Okay. See. The first one is it says complete the installation of beam detectors and make it operable and make it work. So inside of the sanctuary, there's a beam detector in there. We 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 had corrected that. That has been done. It just needs to be tested and verified. The second one is it says um oh it's by the main panel in the front. Um, there's some wiring we need to adjust that hasn't been done that needs to be done for the man. Okay. I just couldn't perform the test because I didn't have the smoke to actually test it at the time for him to see it go off. So he wrote it up as such. It didn't work. But now I have that smoke in order to put into the sanctuary so that way he can see the beam detector go off. So we have to perform that whole entire step. That was a curveball at that time. No, no excuses made, but I didn't know he was going to ask for that. The second one is to there's some high voltage and low voltage wiring that's mixed together that needs to be separated, if that makes sense. And this is all in what area? The front, in the front, in the front, uh, uh, where the main panel is at. Uh, in the narthex area in the sanctuary? No, this is where the main, the big red box. Oh, the in the back, right. Okay, got oh, the it. Back. Got I'm it. sorry, the back. Yeah. Sorry. Where? Oh, you mean next to the um, Deacon's room? The yes, next room. to the copier. Okay, yeah, next to the copier, yeah. Oh, so B, be, I'm be, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Once, B, just to clarify, I'm listening in, but I'm not taking notes, right? Because this is this is your where you're taking notes and preparing for the trustees, correct? This is also going to be recorded. I can send this to you. Okay. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm I'm writing stuff down, but I think the recording will help too. Okay. The second one is the main panel, which is next to the copier. Right. There, the was, there was an existing structure and we reused that existing structure, but he wants us to make the change. We have to separate the wiring inside of that, that space. So you have to separate? The high voltage and the low voltage wiring. Okay. okay. Now... This next one is this is this is where um this is this is where this is what hurts us, right? So the third one is to submit a PAA to include the roof as part of scope of work. Now, let me explain what this means. A PAA is a post approval amendment, meaning that when we submitted the design to the fire department, there's a there's a there's a um occupancy that's already scheduled for your building right and your building says it has a cellar it has a first floor and it has an attic so that's how we fouled the system now when this inspector physically came to the site and went upstairs to the attic he wants us to call that and make that a second floor now in order for us to do that because we named that as attic and all the paperwork from the fire department to the building department all says attic we now have to make an amendment so that way we can take the attic off on the design make it say second floor and resubmit the drawings as if we filing it for the first time if i hope that makes sense that makes sense and they would want you to do redo the entire drawing just to show the second floor. So anything that says attic, we have to change that to make it say second floor. And then the paperwork, we also have to do the same thing as well when we um, submit the filing to the fire department so they could review the drawings and say, yes, it's approved. Because uh, you mentioned that that's what hurt us. And that's what I have been hearing all along, that that was the main issue, the, the attic area, right? Right, because under um, our impression, if already the building is classified that this is an attic, there's no way for us to know that he's going to say that we should make this another floor when it's already designed as an attic. So, and then we called supervisors. I called his supervisor and they went to bat with us and they said, this is what we have to do. So how did that hurt, hurt us? That may, well, sound, it, that may it, sound extremely simple. It may sound extremely simple. However, the engineer has to we design the whole entire drawing and has to resubmit this whole entire package to the fire department. And mm -hmm. then now it has to go back through tech. It has to go through the whole entire process as if we're doing this for the first time. So it's like repeating the process all over again. And it's charges against that. But, but how come 
Why do they want it as a second floor? Yeah, I understand. I can't explain. But is it towards the, the inch? All they need, right? So the delay, within all the delay, is really getting it redesigned and who, and the charges that's going to come according to that to redesign and submit this back to the fire department because it's so, been well it's Anthony, been well. may i ask a question please um mm -hmm. uh and i'm sorry if i you know if i'm repeating but it's just to get a little clarification um so as we've been saying the, the drawing exists right so it's not like the engineer has to come and reconfigure and it's just one area, right? That we could look at the, the the current drawing and say that's the spot, that's the attic area they want it as a floor, right? He has um, to scale. He has to scale that floor because he never scaled the attic floor. Oh, he has to scale it. Scaling meaning measure. measuring. Yes, measure. Okay. Um, and um, so, can I ask a question before you move forward? You're saying he has to scale the floor. What did he do with the first drawing? He didn't, the floor wasn't scaled? No, because mm. it's an attic. So when you have an attic, I thought you still have measurements on it. You don't have a scaling when you have an attic? We submit, we don't submit architectural drawings. We're submitting a, a floor plan design on top of with fire alarm devices on top of it. We're not submitting a scale drawing saying this is the dimensions for this room. We won't get that until we actually file the paperwork and the, and the FDNY say, okay, here's the, uh, here's what the, what the receipt is. Wait, so, okay. Just for clarification, he, he has to refile. So yeah. with the city, the engineers. So what's the cost of doing that? Now, when we filed this in 21, we went through the building department, then we went through the fire department. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's not the process no more. It's now straight with the fire department. So I don't I don't know. I can't answer that right now. I can't answer that question. So Beatrice, these are the questions that we, we should be asking now. We know the scope of the issues. Um, you mentioned a couple of other things, Anthony, which is the back panel, et cetera. It sounds like those are things that you can easily fix, right? Yeah, I just got to add another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got to add another small box and reroute that the pipe coming from, from, from the basement to that okay. box. So it sounds okay. like okay, for me, for me, you could say what you want to say, but I have different questions. So finish your thoughts, Monsieur. Oh, I was just trying to find out the steps. Uh, since we're getting the scope of the issue. Um, regardless of it's the city or, or, or engineer the steps in, to resolve this step a what needs to be done but, but where is so let me just be clear right so i want to be clear yeah, this because... has been hanging over because it's it's somebody has to pay for it and if it, honestly we would have been able to move this if we would we were still talking about the same thing what the process is what is this what is that for like two years and it, i'm telling you it costs x amount of dollars and I'm still asking, answering the same questions. No, yeah. but it's not about answering the same question. I think what we have been looking for is for you to present it to us in that way. We don't know how much it costs. We didn't know what needed to be done. So we just need a layout and let let lay out all the costs. And then and then it has to be discussed who's going to pay, right? I did that. I did that clear. I did that right after this inspection. I sent a detailed email, everything that needs to be done at that time. Okay, so I am, I I wasn't involved all the way in the beginning. I I think the issue, right, um, with the cost. I think the issue came up about the cost because if you have an engineer who already designed it and he's just gonna update and do the scaling that you saying, the cost comes back to the church. That's what I'm trying to understand. All right. Because so when, when we when we submit when we submit for X, and then the inspector comes and tell us we have to do Y, then that's extra. Because when we submit for X and the fire department say, yes, I approve X, but now mm -hmm. a different department from the fire department said, no, we, we I don't like X, I want you to do extra. So that's, what, that's the extra. They're asking okay. us to do extra because we submitted it one way based on a design and they say, yes, we accept your design, but mm -hmm. now this separate department comes out 
make 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 his adjustments or his own discernment because he's in the field looking at the environment and he's making calls on the fly because he's the one that's actually out in the field. So he's making us do extra work. So that's why there's extra charges. Yeah, I remember that. But I'm also trying to be lenient and not charge you my price. I'm just passing over what the engineer is going to charge. Okay. So my question is, we have three things though. You said they still have to come inspect for the first one in the sanctuary. The second one is not complete. You said the panel we has uh, the high and low voltage has to be separated, right? The wiring. Yeah, so we have not is done that, that completed? We have not done that yet, no. Okay, so it's like those two have to be done. And then you're saying that the engineer now has to redesign the um, diagrams because he needs to scale the second floor because you don't do that for an addict. So now I, I could, so is there, there shouldn't be a cost for number two, right? Because this is something that's, you were number two is on me. Like I said, everything that okay. I have to do, oh, I am okay. asking over no charges. Okay. So except, now. Except the inspection, number four. That's just the fire, just the fees, engineer and FDNY. That's it. Nothing from me. Well, Okay, so engineer, engineer fees and fire department fees to complete, for them to come, complete the inspection, right? Right, that's the, yeah. And file sure. the paper, and file yeah. the paper that we have passed. Yes, ma'am. Okay. We, and, and that's what we've been trying to explain all along to others, which they fail to understand that when the work no, no, was... No, I think they understand. I think that the issue was coming in with the cost that was what i think but okay so then since everything else is on you what is it going to cost for the engineer just to re i don't think it should be that expensive it's because not it's not it's, i don't believe it should be but um i just have to i can't i can't tell you what he's going to charge okay but anthony so also you, you just go ahead um, then I just okay. picked up just on a little point you said with the filing you said they have now skipped a step it's it's now directly with the um right i'm trying to keep it simple so um before we had to go to the building department and say hey this is yes. this type of classification okay right. that's good thank you now go right. to the fire department and say this is the design we want to put in now right. the fire department right. is like no we take care of everything so you come straight to us so that's I, I don't know how that part is going to work. So okay, because okay. I, I just like because we're in a weird space right here. So yes, um, we may have to just go straight to the fire department, being that we did file it with the with the building, uh, with you know, the building department in twenty one. Yes, I don't know how that's going to go. I have to ask them. I don't yes. think it's going to be. It's not going to be difficult. I just never experienced it, so I'm just trying to be honest. That's all. Okay. Well, so um, regarding the engineer. I mean, this has been going on for three years right now. When can you get that information? I'll have it to you by Monday. By Monday? But you can take care of the rest. I would say, or scheduling the inspection. Right. From there, I'll try to get it as quickly as possible. I usually tell her uh, right. within two weeks and open it up for whatever time so that way we can get it as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Anthony. Question, please. Um, you said you gave an email with write-ups from way back when as to cost. Does Did that include the engineers and what they said it would have cost to, to, to correct this? Um, if, if I could remember correctly, I probably was charging my, my stuff in there too. Okay. So is it, are we safe to say then we're not going to look back at that? Are we getting a new set of... of, of yeah, if that price yes. would what it was it's not going to probably be a quarter of that if that i don't yeah yeah, okay. yeah because because now he said he's not gonna um charge anything to complete let's just focus on the engineer and close this out yes is that is that what you're saying anthony yeah yeah i mean yeah i'm good i want to because get because in fact the corrections that they found the back panel and other things were really part of the scope of what you were doing which is what were technically paid for already yes. very good thank you so much no problem okay, I think this, this was productive for me 
And I could I, go back. I, I love this. Yes. I fully I'm understand. Sorry. I fully understand it and appreciate you you having this meeting. Yes, we Anthony, we appreciate you and and um this the, Beatrice Adu, she's one of our most sincere people here at East Chester. I love her. She's on my finance team and I love working with her. So if it's one person we know we can resolve this with, it's her. <laughs> Whoa. That's right. Now with that with that said, Anthony, uh -huh. you're gonna get back to us as soon as possible, right? Yes, ma'am. You and said you Monday. Yes. Monday. Okay. Get the video as well. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. No problem. You ladies have a good night. You, you too. too. Thank you, Anthony.